Hello everybody and welcome back to Arcade Spirits where today we're still at the arcade auction and a whole lot goes on. Last time we spent a lot of time talking with Naomi and we left off at a pretty uh, cliffhangery part so we're running upstairs to see what all the commotion's about and uh, it just escalates from there so I hope you all enjoy and I'll be with you in a moment. Is Gavin getting an- uh oh, uh oh, Hamza's mad, Hamza, sorry Hamza's mad. What's going on? I heard shouting. Oh no. <gasps> Hamza has ejected a representative of the dark carnival known as Deco's Palace from our midst. And not soon enough in Hamza's opinion. Oh, okay. I guess everything's fine then. Gavin is not in a fight. Good. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to go get my work apron on since we'll be leaving game soon. Naomi, if you don't mind, after you change, we should coordinate our wish list. I wish I want to get that settled before the auction begins. No, don't leave me alone with the Bacchanalian orgy map! <laughs> with the Bacchanalian orgy master! Oh my gosh! <laughs> the Bacchanalian orgy master! I'm never gonna look at him the same way ever again. Excellent! Now, let us resume the social amusements and jocularities. Ari Cater, we will speak, yes? Hamza leads me off, away from the chattering crowd, presumably not to eat me, or yell at me, or anything like that. That's like my two biggest fear. <laughs> That's like, immediately, someone takes me aside, I'm like, please don't eat me, and please don't yell at me. That's all I ask for. Who wouldn't want to be alone with a Bacchanalian orgy master? Me? <laughs> I make it a point to get to know all who attend my gatherings. Clearly... I have been remiss, as I allowed one who works with the hate okay, Deco Nami. Also to interesting enter. that he really doesn't like that Deco Palace um, place, which kind of I think makes sense. Like he doesn't want like the big time corporate people getting their hands on these things. He wants to help the little people, the smaller industries like like Funflex and stuff. So letting in somebody like that would be bad. But I wonder if they actually did something to, like, make him upset, you know? Capitalism ain't got no heart. Exactly. Exactly. So, those, like, the deco place is capitalism, and this guy is, like, socialism, maybe? Hamza would like to know you better, my friend. <laughs> he thinks I'm a Not spy! That Hamza assumes you to be a spy, of course. Spy. It is simply a matter of what is no, proper. I think he actually does. Right. He does. He, 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 these are more intimate gatherings, so he need, he needs to know. You want me, Deco? Oh my gosh! I knew it! I knew it! I told you guys! I told you that we're gonna have. There's gonna be something. We're gonna have like an epic rap battle or something with the Deco Palace place. Oh man! Um, I knew it. <laughs> His voice actor is Commander Shepard. Are you sick? Like Mark? Mark? The guy I would? Can we romance him? <laughs> Let me see. Mark Mir. You have Mark Mir. Oh my gosh, Mark Mir. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh my gosh. I couldn't remember his last name. I'm like, Mark? Yeah, my friend Mark. But no, no, I just can't remember his last name. Oh my gosh. That's so awesome. He shows up in level six. All right, I will... I will do my best to, to wait. I'll wait, but I'm gonna go fast. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to hear his voice. I'm just a floor attendant for the fun flags. Not much else to say. Come now. Surely there's more to you than that. Sure, with Hamza. Hamza. Okay. Consider me an impartial third party. Surely there are matters that occupy your mind which would be inappropriate to air to uh, your business partners. Why? Oh, what? Why is he asking me that? Like, why? I, it's kind of funny that he, like, I'm like, what am I supposed to, oh, would it be like something involved with this? Rather? Okay, this guy is clearly on a fishing expedition for dirt. Considering the high court of arcade royalty I'm supping with, maybe it's best not to give him anything. Hang on, I'm trying to, I can't see the chat for a second. But I also don't want to make relations difficult with Funplex if this guy is really a leading supplier of cheap arcade games. I'm secretly the royal heir of the distant land. Um... Hmm. I don't know why I would feel like I needed to tell him things, you know what I mean? 
like, about my personal life. But also, he's just the kind of guy that would, like, I don't know, I trust him. Maybe that's bad, but I do kind of trust him. Let's try. Uh, oh, man, I don't know. What are you guys saying? Let me see if I can... Uh, Mir means lake in Dutch. Nice. No enemies to lovers. Lemon sea. Sad. He's an orgy master bear. Oh, what the? You need to get this game and play it. <laughs> like Zevran. He is kind of like Zevran. Mm. I'll be honest with him. I won't bore you with the whole story, but the too long didn't read is that my friend has had a curse of foul look. I think he'll appreciate a curse. Isn't it the guy who enjoys like a dramatic story? So if I, I'm like, I have a curse of foul luck for quite a few years. Moving from city to city, job to job. After I left home, I couldn't find stable work. Found it for the funplex, I guess. I'm determined to make this work, but I'll admit, I'm in a vulnerable position. It's not exactly a jet setting executive role. Mm. Hamza agrees. Ah, yes, I see the dilemma you face. I have seen it many times before, in fact, including firsthand. Yes, I have known hardship. We all have in the course of events. You are not alone in that condition, Eric Cater. Hamza began as urban a mere explorer. urban explorer and hunter of rare objects for a wealthy buyer in Dubai. Ooh, Dubai. He has the like attitude of Dor or the, the look of Dorian and the attitude of Zevran. He definitely does, one hundred percent. You see. Ooh. Many debts pursued me, and in return for assistance in paying them, I stalked the arcade of his dreams. In time, my patron released me entirely nice. from the woes of death. convenient. Not convenient. There's probably a lot of hard work. They were difficult yeah. years, productive years to be certain, and throughout them, Hamza learned how to use the mystique of being mm. Hamza to better achieve Interesting. his goals. Doesn't sound like money and he likes... Yeah, yeah. He does. I agree. Like, he sounds very like somebody I would I would like to know, you know? Now I stand before you with power. And with hard-earned respect for that power. I leverage it to ensure that those who respect games as I do can enjoy them. Even if they lack coin. Okay. But yes, I have known a hardship. We all have in the course of events. You are not alone in that condition, my friend. Okay, so how do I get out of that condition? Do I need to indebt myself to a wealthy prince or something too? Wouldn't that be nice? I would do that. I would do that. Dun dun. No, oh, okay, you can do it. No, no. You will need the will to dream. And the will to yeah, work. Yeah, I mean, that's hard work, but at the same time, it doesn't always, it's not always, doesn't always work, but. The will oh, trade off. Oh, here we go. That will bring you closer to your ambitions. Francine was mentioning something about that earlier, too. Wisdom and beauty, that is Francine. I'm trying not to make trade-offs, though, not to settle. My parents, they gave up on so much just to barely scrape by. Ah, oh, that is the puzzle, is it not? What to trade? Allow me to regale you with a story. Hamza makes a sweeping gesture to the beautiful ruin of the Donnawood Mansion and to an oil painting hanging on the wall. That one! Woohoo! Nice! Nice story time. At one time, Donna Michaels was a star on the rise. She had all she could ever desire and indulged in her desires all day long. Nice. But so indulgent was she that, that she failed to maintain the work that brought her there. After her second album didn't meet expectations, she lost interest. For years, she lur lurked in these walls as a recluse, playing games for hours and hours and hours. Rumor has it that she was found dead within her beloved arcade, hands still wrapped around a glowing joystick. She starved to death, lost in a game. Ooh, unfortunate. I'd say that's ridiculous, but I've seen Percy play for hours and hours at a time. And now her lost and aimless spirit haunts this very place. Dun dun dun! Adrift as a ghost in the machine. We keep hearing that phrase. 
Too spoopy for me, man. Too spoopy for me. <laughs> Too spoopy indeed. And obviously a grim fairy tale rather than reality. But I feel there is an important truth buried in the myth. I ask you, was Donna's life spiritually satisfying? She didn't need to make any more albums. She wanted for nothing and had everything. You could even say she died doing what she loved, playing games. Okay, but she still died. Get, no getting around that. Well, yeah, everybody dies. Hamza, Hamza agrees. agrees. So many years thrown away, refusing the world around her in favor of a dream. A dream is a lovely thing, Ari Cater, but you must balance a dream in one hand and the world in the other at all times. I feel like this is like something that I want to like screenshot and like put on my wall. You know what I mean? Like, this is real. This is a real, this is like one of those quote things. Oh my gosh. Flower is now following. Yay. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, what is it? Tap the S key? Did it work? I think, it, hopefully it worked. It didn't like, oh, it did! Yes, awesome, thank you, thank you! <laughs> if only I knew key short shortcuts and stuff. Naomi, she clings to her dream. Gavin, he clings to the world. Neither of them are truly happy as a result. And what of you, Ari Cater? Do you seek to be truly happy? Well, duh, what else was I gonna answer except yes? But Hamza pressed a finger to my lips, oh my, <laughs> to silence me. Hold that thought, the auction is about to begin. He claps twice, calling the room to attention. Greetings, friends. Let us proceed to the arcade below. We have many games to bid on, all of which must be out the door by morning. As always, I will accept alternate bids, but test not the patience of Hamza. If your bid is not a serious offer, the hours grow short. Any titles which find no takers will go to my own collection, but my hope is to find a happy home for every machine, one which will love and respect these games. He motions for me in particular to follow as the group files downstairs. Hi, everyone! This way, this way! A bunch of folding chairs have been set up in front of a large HDTV. One of Hamza's assistants loads up a photo slideshow of the games on offer as the group settles in. Hey, shouldn't Francine be here for this? It's technically her money. She trusts the two of us to make the right decisions on purchasing games. Plus, I'd hate to interrupt her nap or her knitting or both. I swear she can knit in her sleep. Ooh, I'm just too nervous. I think I'm gonna go browse the games again, see if there are any I missed. It's so dark down here. I can swear I didn't see them all. I feel like I'm like, move, like doing this. That's how nervous she is. Hmm. And how about you, Ari? You wanna watch the auction with me or go help Naomi search the arcade? I'm fine either way. Ultimately, you're, you're only here to help us look out our purchases out the door, so do whatever you like. Uh, thanks, I think. Um, I'll help, I'll help if you let me wave the paddle around. I kinda wanna help Gavin, actually. Like, I kinda wanna get to know Gavin a little more, and I kinda wanna see how the auction goes. So I'm gonna go with Gavin. Auctioneering sounds fun. I get to wave our bidding paddle around. Hamza's auctions are usually a shout out loud affair rather than discreetly signaling, but I admire your enthusiasm. I settle in next to Gavin on one of the rickety old folding chairs. Not quite as posh as the banquet spread above, but hey, it's business time, not indulgence time. Naomi sent me a list of games she wants me to bid on. We argued it a bit, and I managed to bring her down to three must-haves. Would, would be nice. Also, I feel like this is the really important place to be because this is where the actual games go. Like, if, if I'm gonna help influence what games we buy, this is where I do it. We should have split our time between them, yeah. Needless to say, if the would be nice to start bidding up, I won't be bothered. Do we have the storage space for the would be nices? Well, okay. technically, yes. What about the cash? Like I said, only if they Kay. don't get driven through the roof. Then maybe keep an open mind, right? Don't forget to see the forest for the trees while looking at the bigger picture or something. Right, right. As Francine says, I know. But... Ah! Be gone. I half expect mid 90s techno to start blasting as the slideshow begins, but nope, just pretty photo photos of old games. Behold. Look at these beautiful games, they could be yours, all yours. But before we dive in, I would like a moment of recognition for Donna Michaels, whose spirit inhabits these halls. We who are about to rescue her games do so out of respect for her and her passions. May her soul be at peace with her beloved arcade in good hands. If she actually died down here and her ghost isn't haunting one of these, is haunting one of these, and we bring it back home, I'm gonna be a little spooked. 
I thought he didn't believe in that tall tale, or is he just being theatrical because that is the way of Hamza? Now then, shall we commence the auction, friends? I settled in, went for Gavin to take an interest in the game, so I bid. Our next item up for bid. Oh, hey, I recognize this. It's a joust, just like the one I moved out, of the, out, out to the floor two weeks ago. Gavin frowns at his tablet, confused. Why well, is some Naomi's must have list? We already own one of these. The bidding opens at a pittance, a mere $50. Gavin shakes his head, ready to let this slide by. No, Gavin, don't do it! She might want it for replacement parts. We're gonna be logical. That's a good point, though. Skipping this one lets us be riskier later. But it's cheap! We could also, we could also do a tournament thing, but... Uh, re replacement parts. That machine breaks down a lot, right? Well, having a spare in storage would be not needing to buy more parts for it. Yay, Gavin! Impressive. Astute, and a good reason to bid on it. I agree. Iris, give me a quick price check uh, on the sum of all key components in the joust machine. Whoa! Is he at his own Iris, or is he using my Iris? Ah, uh, Gavin's Iris. Ooh, look at Gavin's Iris. She's got, like, she's, like, sassy looking. Pass your wish, Mr. Cooper. Wait, you have an Iris, too? I can't yeah, say I, I like it, but yes, a premium Iris account. You have the free version, correct? I doubt it would be capable of a complex query to this. Uh, okay! Done. Individual components compounded together, compiled to $400. Gavin gets to his feet. Ah! Uh, it was- The bidding started out at $50, my dude! Oh, oh, I passed! Gavin Cooper draws us fire. Will anyone step? Ah! <gasps> thousand dollars to complete my midway collection well crap Hamza must uh, consider curiously this. Gavin tell me why do you seek this game Naomi's pride and joy is a fully restored joust but it breaks down frequently I want to keep her dream alive by giving her an organ donor I will he appreciate that it's, I don't know if um, uh, Hamza will appreciate that actually I know, right? I don't know why my iris didn't, like, pop up and be like, Woo! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have put Hums on a strange position. You have, between a collector craving his holy grail and a young girl's dreams. Sold. But Hamza must bow to fiscal forces that keep his fantasies afloat. Sold for $1,000. Seems once he hears a bit he likes, it's all over. No going once, going twice. However, as Hamza is not without a heart, I have a mostly working copy of that game in my personal stocks that I've been meaning to restore. Gavin Cooper, I grant it to you for free! Oh my gosh! For free? Such is the iron <laughs> will of Hamza. This is the will of Hamza. Question it not. The collector sits, grumbling. Thank you, thank Hamza. You. you are most kind. I am most capricious, but thank you for the praise all the same. Onward. Our next item for auction is this rather unique piece. You like Hamza? I do too. I do too. The Iron Wind of Hamza. I love that. That's a good line to like have just like say every now and then. It's perfect. Hamza seems like a good guy. He seems like... I think it's kind of breaking the stereotype of like a Middle Eastern man who's like really into bargaining and business and like only wants to get as much money out of things as he possibly can. Hamza's about heart and he's about compromising. Like he's not, so he got the deal where he got a thousand dollars off this one arcade machine, you know, that, that was like really, really old. And he fulfilled the dream of the private collector, but at the same time, he compromises by giving us one that's not quite as in good condition, but will suffice for our needs and for free so he gets his money and everybody gets their dreams that they want you know i feel like he's a very shrewd businessman like a very shrewd heartfelt businessman and he yeah, that is one ugly football game it looks like the side art stickers weren't even put on straight the white paint is totally uneven the marquee's been broken the monitor has a big old as is note the joysticks are four different clashing colors and do I hear 50? 40? Wait. I nudge Gavin, whispering, put a bit on it. It's Fun. positively grotesque. I recognize the shape and the joystick colors. That's not really a football game. Oh, what? No. What? Did they try to disguise it? It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. 
Naomi told me earlier that we need one of those. I thought they only had the crappy two-player one, but that's definitely a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game at heart. Aha! It's a cheaply done conversion. No doubt some fool thought he'd get more profits off a sports game and lazily chopped it up. It needs restoration work, granted, but... Slowly, he stands up. Now, I suppose, I suppose I'd be willing to take it for $40. Maybe we can salvage the monitor. Good, good. All games deserve a home, even the ugly ducklings. Are there any other bids? No, not a one? Very well. We're doing really Sold. great! We're doing really great! Sold to Gavin Cooper of the Funplex. Thank you. After Gavin sits down, I can swear I spotted Hamza winking at me. Does he know we just conned him? And is he okay with that? You know, Eric, you're more knowledgeable about old arcade games than I thought you'd be. Well, my parents took me to arcades all the time back when I was a kid. I had a few favorites, like the TMNT, uh, Qbert, and... Dun, 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 dun. Flashback! It's a circus of values! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It just pulled in the Bioshock reference. <laughs> I can't hear that and not hear it in, like, in that tone. It's a circus of values! Eh? <laughs> ah! <laughs> and those were good times. Better times. Well, I suppose Very you can well. relive those good times a little once Naomi restores that game. Thanks, Gavin, your sweetheart. During your breaks and after work, please. Obviously, Gavin. Yes, sir. I realize my demeanor is one of seriousness, but it's not like I'm anti-fun. I enjoy a pinball game or two, for that matter. I know, Gavin. <laughs> I thought that was more for the challenge, though. Order to chaos, developing mastery over the game, and so on. Which is fun for me. Fun is a highly variable concept from person to person. For example, undoubtedly mm. Naomi is going to have considerable fun restoring that TMNT back to its former glory, precisely because it is so mutilated. The fun place provides fun in any form the visitor requires. That's my end game, the goal I reach for. The tricky part I found is balancing conflicting fun, ensuring as many dreams as are realized as possible, despite reality being rather harsh about it all. And that's where I like Gavin, because from the beginning he said that like he's trying he's trying really hard to balance people. He, he wants people's dreams to be successful, but he has a hard time balancing that with reality, like He's like, you can't, you can't just support a dream off wishes and hope, you know, you gotta have money. So, like, him and Naomi make a good, like, pair in a way. Like, they're, I mean, if, if they could, like, sort of, like, work together, they'd make a really good pair. Um, and maybe be able to teach each other sort of, like, you know, Naomi a little bit more about being realistic and Gavin a little bit more about being, like, more fun and whimsical. We'll need to watch our budget today if we're gonna optimize that fun. Do you understand? I guess being optimal is fun for you. I suppose it is at that. A rare a rare splendor. Splendor. Next, a rare find indeed. What would surely be the jewel of any collector's treasure trove, provided they are discerning collectors who appreciate such splendors. And the next game is a black and white driving game from 1970. I give you Death Race, inspired by the movie of the same name and decorated with skulls that sparked a controversy nationwide. Is that Seriously? relic? Seriously, enemies must have this? Absolutely not. Not only is it an ancient artifact of a bygone age, I'd rather not have angry parents mad that little Timmy ran over people in a video game. They're gremlins, not humans. Very, very blurry little white blob of gremlins. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It won't earn, and earning is critical for a small arcade such as ours. Hmm. Okay, now I'm concerned because like part of me is like, yeah, go for it, you know, and like just just buy all the things. But is there something down the line that I won't be able to get because I bid on this? And if it's controversial, like will we actually get like a lot of money like from it? Like I feel like it could be like a really good investment. Like I started playing Mass Effect because it was controversial. Like, and that's how a lot of people started playing Mass Effect because they heard it was like. Like, there was, there was the sex in Mass Effect 1 that was controversial, and then there was the Mass Effect 3 controversy of people not being happy with the ending. And so it's like, uh, I don't know. We can make the museum a fun, uh, a fun place, a museum of amusements. People can come visit and look at it. It's a part of history and important to Naomi. Um, oh, this is, this is, uh, uh, you love Mass Effect? Oh my gosh, Mass Effect is like my favorite series of all time. 
He doesn't like jokes. Uh, it's a part of history and important to Naomi. Would you miss Roma? Well, so far we've got some stellar deals on this. And the Hamza says it's a, says it's a steal. I don't know. Uh, let's try. Let's, it's important to Naomi. Okay, so it wouldn't earn, but it's a legendary game, Gavin. Its importance in the lore of Arcade is undeniable. More importantly, Naomi wants this game. You told me your dream is to support the dreams of others. Considering we just got joust, a joust for free and got a TMNT for pennies on the dollar, I think we can afford to make her dream come true. Oh, wow, okay, he appreciated that. You're right. I I've been letting so many of her wishes slip by during this auction. Perhaps this is the ideal time to make it up to her and obtain a unique treasure. Hamza, the Funplex bids 250 bucks. That was really nice. Oh, God, this guy is scary. Pixelpalooza. Gadzooks, a find like that can't go for a pop to 250. I bid $300. 400. Called Sauron at 500. Such five. Fire. We have five. Do we have any numbers above that? Six. Six of one. Half a dozen of another. Tarnation. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, are we gonna do it? No one is willing to match? <gasps> it seems you have Sold. won yourself a piece of arcade history, Gavin Cooper. Sold. Satisfied, Gavin sits back down and offers me a curt nod of thanks. And that's everything on our list. Okay, well, the must-haves and a few of the would-be nices. Now to sit and wait while Hamza grinds his way through the rest of the stock. We can't start moving games out until the auction's complete. Hmm. Hmm. Naomi's not responding, replying to text. Could you, can you go find her? I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Let her know what we bought. Sure thing. Crap. She's dead. No! The ghost! Oh, the ghost got her! No! Leaving the excitable auction master and his compatriots behind, I started wandering through the maze like arcade of Donald Wood's private collection. Naomi! Naomi, where the heck are you? Dark and quiet back here. Where could Naomi be? The music's gone! The music's gone! It's not like it's an infinite plane of games. There's only so many places she could hide. And as I walk by a game, the screen lights up. If we find a game named Arcade Spirits, I'm I'm gonna like I'm gonna like physically reach in and grab it and be like, we're taking this home, Gavin! The music! I freeze in my tracks as my hand accidentally brushes past the glowing joystick. It seems familiar, like something from a story I heard once. <gasps> Hamza, Hamza's tall tale. He said Donna Michaels supposedly died while playing one of these games, a game with a glowing joystick. I should walk away, I should go. I have official Funplex duties. I've been very good about not gaming when I should be working, but someone's already inserted a quarter. The game is ready to play. One game couldn't hurt, right? Just one game. <laughs> We're gonna get haunted because she died because she couldn't stop playing this game and we're gonna get like sucked in. Oh, two flower! That's such a scary evil! Oh, Polyblus. Polyblus? Is that what it's called? Polyblues? It's spooky. I want to play the game. <gasps> oh my gosh! It's just like, oh, Doki Doki Literature Club. That's the other visual novel type game we played. It's just like that. It's just like that. It's an urban legend of a hypnotic murderous arcade game. Oh my gosh! The legends are true! Is Polyblus an actual, like, real world, like, legend or something? I feel like my, my hood's on sideways or something. Play the game. Play the game. It's real? It's real? Oh no! My hands wrap around the stick as my eyes drink in the colored lights swirling on the screen. Naomi's stuck in a video game! <gasps> it's like Doki Doki Literature Club! Play the game. Play the game. Play the game forever. Ah, oh, game start. This isn't real. It can't be real. I'm in there. That's me. It's just a game. It's just a game I have to play forever. None of this is real. The Harpy. Oh my gosh, I've actually got goosebumps, kind of. Like, oh my gosh, like my hair just like prickled a little bit. This is spooky. <gasps> Juniper, there you are. I've been worried sick. What are you doing? Out here with these strange joysticks, meeting strange people, getting into trouble. You stay safe, Harry. Trust me, believe in me. 
I can help you find your dreams. All you have to do is everything I tell you to do. You depend on me. You need me. And you always depend on me. Always need me. I'll see to it by making sure I control everything in your life for your own good. We are going to find Naomi floating around. You careless. Oh, Subby, come on. You're punching walls. Yeah, we're facing our inner demons. Oh, boy. Harpy used overprotective. It's super effective. That hurt. It really hurt. I'll hide the truth from you. I'll keep you away from every chance you have to better yourself. I won't let you leave me. You'll always need me. It's not real. It's not real. Harpy used Yandere. It's super terrifying. Ow, Juniper, stop it, please. You agreed I was right to hide that job opportunity at my office from you. I was right. Everything is fine. You'll never doubt me again, right? And if you do, I'll beat you until you understand. The game. I have to win the game. I get this feeling that if I don't win, I'll never get out of here. Something's wrong. I know Juniper's not a control freak. This doesn't like her. Current health, 100%. Action. Um, refuse to believe. She loved arcade games so much that she became one. Oh, man. Refuse to believe. This is ridiculous. This isn't real. And this isn't you, Juniper. I know how much of a bastard I am for saying this, but... You're not competent enough to keep to be a calculating mastermind trying to keep me trying to keep me dangling from your leash. You're just too open, too honest, and too clumsy to pull off something like that. I know you. I've always known you. And I know you're sincerely trying to help me, even when you mess up. Player used harsh truth. It's super honest. Whoa! Okay, we did it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Ari. You're right. I just wanted to help you smile again. I made a mistake, but it wasn't to keep you under my thumb or anything like that. That could be something that we might have thought of, like, that we didn't even say, like, out loud to ourselves. It was like, maybe Juniper likes having me, like, ha to be the one who's, like, making the most money and, like, supporting me. Like, she just, she's like, you know what I mean? Like, she enjoys, like, she could enjoy, like, having sort of that control, but... But she does, and that's not Juniper. Juniper, I'm smiling. It's okay. I'm going to make this work. It's hard work, but I'm going to make my dream come true. Good. I'm so glad to hear it. Good old Juniper. A kind heart, as always. Okay, I can do this. I can handle this. Level two, the shade. Oh, no. Round start. Oh, no. Now I'm fighting my inner demon. Oh, man. This is all your fault. Nope. I officially can't handle this. The pizza bagels, the debt, the rent payments, all of it, piling up, mounting up, because you are a failure and you will always be a failure. The family curse, the tears and the sorrow, moving from town to town, barely getting by, settling for what you can get, that's who you are forever. It's never going to change. The arcade job, it'll collapse. It's already not enough to turn back the tide. Inevitably, the arcade will close, brought, bought out by Deco Nemi, and you'll be jobless, homeless, ruined, just like you deserve to be. Ow! Oh, shade used depression. It's super unfortunate. You are better off not caring, not feeling anything. Go with the flow, accept your fate, fall away, knowing you never really had any other option. I, I, you can't even matter defense because I'm you and you know I'm right. You know you're right. We'll never be happy. This is that voice in your head that tells you all the time that you deserve every bad thing that happens to you. I, I can't do this. Current health, 100, action. Summon a tank? Huh. I could struggle against darkness. But if I need help, sometimes with this sort of a thing, sometimes with depression, and like, we couldn't do, we couldn't have done it by ourselves. We had to like, we had Iris helping us, we had Juniper helping us to get us out of that rut, you know, and like Francine, everybody's helped us. So sometimes with depression, you can't do it on your own. You need help. So, let's see if we can summon a friend to help us and if that works out. I can't do this, not by myself. And I won't be ashamed to ask for help. I summon a guardian. Yes! Yes! Ah, yes! <laughs> I've known you, Shade. You've looked in my own heart many a year, haven't you? Hang on, hang on, I didn't do it right. I've known, nope, now he's got like a southern accent. I don't know. You've had that voice, yeah, yeah, since you learned how to talk, right? I knew it, I knew it was gonna be the tank, I was hoping he'd be the tank, he's the biggest one. I've known you, Shade, you've lurked in my own heart many a year, haven't you? 
How do you do British again? Uh, I've known you, Shade. You've lived in my own heart many a year, haven't you? But I know that there are others who love me, even if they're no longer with me. I still remember their smiles. I'd like to see Ari smile again, so I'll stand by her side. <gasps> For however long, she needs someone to lean on, I promise. I'm in love! I'm in love. I'm officially in love. It's fine. Guardian <laughs> used empathy. It's super compassionate. But you deserve not whatever you think I deserve in your voice. That doesn't have to be me. I can decide who I want to be. This is like such a pep talk game. What the heck? Like, such a feel. Like, I don't know. Ask for a spot of tea? Yeah, I had to, like, say something kind of Britishy. Hello, Governor. There you go. There you go. That's the key word. To get into a, a British accent, you just gotta say, hello, Governor. And with everyone standing behind me, I know that if I should fall, someone will catch me. Prepare for a final boss. Good. I'm ready. And I'm definitely ready to get out of here. Level three, the lost soul. Oh, Donna! Oh my gosh. I don't get it. Not one bit. Are, are you Donna Michaels? Girls just want to play games. I just wanted to be happy. I made a place where I could be happy forever. Walked inside, then locked the door and threw away the key. I got what I wanted. I was happy. I didn't struggle. I didn't try. I didn't do anything more than I had to. Just like you. Like me? I'm not a billionaire pop princess. Neither was I. Nobody liked my second album. I wasn't meant to be a star, so I gave up. I was okay taking the money and running. You could do the same. Maintain. Eat the pizza bagels. Do everything that's asked of you. Let Juniper continue to float the rent. You're in a good place. You could stay here. You could let go. Play games forever. Be happy. No ambition. No hope. No need. You'll be fine. You'll be safe. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Ever since my little lunch date, something's been bugging me. Maybe now I know what that is. Why did I ask to replace Ashley on this trip? I didn't have to. They didn't ask me to. Why did I do it? Because this isn't enough. Being an arcade floor attendant isn't enough. Living hand to mouth isn't enough. Good. Quit your job. Quit and become like me. Lose yourself in the games. Oh, I'm not quitting. That's not what I meant at all. I want to fight. Current health? 100%. Action? No, I'm not fighting her. That's not what I meant either. Hmm. Uh... If I can make the arcade thrive, I'll thrive. I will turn the funplex into a palace of fun. My friends have supported me, I'll support them. I had no real, real ambition before, but I'm ready to step up. I think this is more, like in this situation, this is what I'm, this is what I'm feeling, right? Yeah. All right, I had no real ambition before, but I'm ready to step up. Lord Jenna Perry? No, I'm done being at the bottom rung of the career ladder. I don't need to leave the arcade to be a success. What I need is for the arcade to be a success. The arcade could be so much more. I could lead the way, go above and beyond just doing what I'm told. I could champion the cause of the funplex. That's my dream. I want to end the family curse to find both success and happiness. And when the funplex is finally the roaring success it deserves to be, with God as my witness, I shall never eat a pizza bagel again. <laughs> with God as my witness. But the glitchy shade just looks at me with confusion. That sounds hard. Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? It's a hard path, but that's how it's going to be. No, no, I don't think so. I think you need to stay here with me. You need to play games forever. It's just so much easier, isn't it? Just let go. I can make you see. I can keep you here, drag you down, tear you apart. I have my health bar nervously. It's still full, but that could change. I don't think Polybius is happy. Oh, it's Polybius, not Polyblus. Is happy that I'm not giving in. I can't risk a fight with Donna. I need to get out of here, prioritize my survival. Or do I want to try and save Donna, too? Oh. I feel like that's the best option. Otherwise, we're gonna have like a haunted, haunted ghosty thing. Okay, we're gonna try to rescue her. I feel like, I don't know, she's somebody that, even though she comes from a completely different economic bracket, like she wasn't happy, you know? Wealth didn't make her happy. And like, she sort of made it and then didn't, she wasn't happy with it. Like it wasn't her real dream or, or whatever. She Or she gave up on it, you know? So I would like to save her if we can. This is risky as hell, but nobody deserves to be trapped inside a video game forever. Plus, yeah, that would like haunt me for the like like haunt me for the rest of my days, knowing I left like if I left if this is supernaturally if I left an actual ghost in the machine like I wouldn't want to do that. Assuming I'm just wildly hallucinating based on Hamza's spooky story taking root in my mind, and none of this is actually real in the slightest. 
Donna, I'm not staying, and you don't have to either. Polybius is making you feel this way. Polybius, Polybius, maybe, is making you feel this way. And taking advantage of you, leveraging your depression. I know, because I've been mired in depression too. And I know if I can beat it, so can you. Nobody wanted me. They hated the second album. They moved on. Why not play games forever? Why not lock the door behind me? Nobody cared. Nobody cares. Um, he's gonna hate. Naomi cares, and I care. Right now, there's a young woman with a phone filled with your music waiting out there. She's gonna play your whole catalog for me once I'm out of here. She cares, and I care. Maybe the jerks back in your day lost interest, but nostalgia's a heck of a thing. You could mount a comeback to her. A tour? Uh, I always loved performing. The rest of the business, I hated it all. I hated the label, the industry, the backstabbing, the drugs, everything. But the concerts, I love the smiles. Did we do it? <gasps> oh! But it's all over, isn't it? She got a face now. Uh, I died. I'm not even Donna's spirit. All that's left is a simulation of me running through the subroutines sub of Polybius. Error, error. Ari, thank you. Thank you for trying to save me. But there's nothing left to say. I'm not real. You seem real enough to me. Error, no escape, no escape, purpose code execute. You need to go before Polybius completes its data collection of you and disposes of the original like it did to me. I'll hold it back, and your BFF will do the rest. My what? Ah, oh, it's Iris! Yay! I finally figured out how to break you out of this, but my apologies in advance. Hang on. Do I smell something burning? No escape, no escape. Erase, don't ever face with new player. Erase. She's fading, but smiling all the same. It's okay, I'm ready. Go out there and fight for your dreams, Ari. Don't give up, no matter what. Oh my gosh, so inspirational. I saved her as best I could. At least she escaped in her own way. Oh, something smells like bacon and I'm in a lot of pain? Is she lighting my phone on fire? As my consciousness snaps back, my hand releases the joystick immediately. Also, my pants are on fire! On instinct, I kick off my shoes and yank my jeans down, getting rid of them as fast as possible. Oh no. Stamping on them, I quickly put out the flames, leaving only smoldering denim. And the melted remains of my phone. <gasps> I can't afford a new phone! And Iris! Iris just self-destructed to save me! Iris, oh no! She sacrificed herself to save my life! Wait, no, she lives in the cloud. She'll be totally fine. <laughs> Still, I'm out of phone, and possibly have first degree burns, and I'm backing the heck away from that demonic video game as fast as possible. Quickly, I rush for the sounds of people talking. No, don't go over there! You don't have pants on! No, you don't have pants on! And I'm afraid I had to call it there. Another cliffhanger. I'm getting pretty good at ending off on these in this game. So I hope you all enjoyed very much. This one did go a bit long, but as you can tell, it was kind of hard to find a place to cut it off at any point with all the action going on. So hopefully you all enjoyed very much. I hope you did. I did. Anyway, words, thank you all again, and I hope to see you in the next one.